Intermediate surfers can perform maneuvers and they can perform them pretty well. Calves, cutbacks, re-entries, floaters, etc. They've got them down pat, but to go to the next level, we need to put them together because doing them on their own isn't enough. Hi guys, it's Ryan and welcome to How To Rip. In today's lesson of the week, I'm going to share with you a segment from one of my other tutorials from the Surfers Journey YouTube channel. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you head over there now and remember to hit that subscribe button. And remember that you can also follow us on Instagram at The Surfers Journey. But let's get into today's video. Like I said at the start of the video, you can probably perform multiple maneuvers, but chances are you can do that on sections which are a little bit smaller, a little bit flatter, a little bit safer. But to progress to an advanced level, you now need to perform those maneuvers that you've got on bigger, more critical sections. They're gonna look better, but there's a lot more risk involved. Let's have a close look at how you can do this. If we have a look at this example, you can see me performing a carve and a cutback on a pretty fat section of this wave. It didn't really offer much more than that. But if we look at the same cutback performed on a steeper, more critical section, you can see it looked heaps better and it also feels a lot better. Let's have a look at what it looks like from point of view. Now as we're surfing along a wave, as we bottom turn and we drive up to the lip, what we're looking for is timing our turns so that we can perform our maneuvers in the steepest section that we can. So we wanna stay really close to the pocket and we wanna stay high on the lip. By staying high, we're gonna throw more spray and we're gonna maximize that wave's power. Guys, thanks for watching the video today. Remember, you can watch the full video over at the Surfers Journey YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the water. The Surfers Journey now has a range of apparel available, from beanies to t-shirts to hats and coffee cups. For more information on how you can place your order, email thesurfersjourney at gmail.com. Be sure to visit The Surfers Journey and check out some of our other videos. Surfing tutorials from point of view, from the air and from the beach. And detailed, honest board reviews. You can also follow us on Instagram where we post hints and tips. Recently I designed our Shield logo, which forms part of our Protector Series range of t-shirts, hoodies and hats. All the profits raised from the sales of these items will be donated to the SAS Resources Fund and the Commando Welfare Trust. These organisations support veterans and their families from the Special Forces units here in Australia. These people have sacrificed greatly for the greater good of our community. And this is my way of trying to give back and say thank you. So the purpose of this is to help raise up our community of like-minded individuals who love to surf and also want to strive to serve the community in the best way they can. That's what this shield represents, that community. Email me at thesurfersjourney at gmail.com to place your order. Thanks guys, together we can make a difference.